Hey guys, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes from Decrypt and looks like crypto winter freezes have turned investors onto hardware wallets. So yes, people are moving to self-custody. I think they're finally getting the picture from so many shutdowns, freezes on withdrawals and whatnot. People just want to be in control of their crypto. So let's go over this article. Ledger says that sales blew up four and a half times in the wake of the Celsius bankruptcy. Trezor and SafePal have also reported hefty sell figures so nice treasure and ledger are the best ones i like using treasure for my cold storage devices ledger a little bit of another learning curve there but eh, to each their own both are great products there has been no shortages of crypto casualties this summer on august 8th singapore's hobble knot joined fellow lenders bald and celsius and singaporean exchange zmex in suspending users crypto withdrawals because of recent market conditions the measure was uh, ostensibly taken to stabilize liquidity, a phrase also used in Celsius withdrawal freeze announcement. With little warning, investors were hit with the news that the bulk of their digital wealth had been effectively seized while firms hashed out a recovery plan. Many have been affected in varying degrees of severity and the human cost is often harrowing to read. Left high and dry. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just read that hard radius. Yes, I did. <laughs> but left high and dry, the recent liquid liquidity crisis has reminded many of the industry's sage words not your keys, not your coins. And a new evidence now shows that many are taking these words to heart this time around, finally. Uh, while crypto companies are filing for bankruptcy or receiving bailouts, while Coinbase, Gemini, and Blockchain.com have all announced mass layoffs. While Solana and Nomad are left reeling after another multi-million dollar attack, one subsector is flourishing. Hardware wallets. Awesome. Hardware wallets are often touted as the ideal option for storing crypto long term. They keep users' private keys stored securely offline. Unlike software wallets, they're mostly immune to online attacks, though they have been targeted by phishing attacks the most recent of which happened this year when MailChimp newsletter database containing the emails of Treasure users were compromised. So they're not invulnerable, but if you're careful and hawk-eyed, hardware wallets can be a much better alternative than their software counterparts. The top model from Ledger or Treasure are also resistant to physical tampering, making them a safe bet for anyone looking for long-term digital asset storage. An exploit in Slope mobile wallet applications, for example, led to Solana users' private keys being inadvertently transmitted to a third party. According to Solana developers, the attack made off with $4.5 million in Sol and USD. I uh, still don't know why people are still using Sol after they shut down their blockchain a couple times. Like within this year, like it's been down or there's been problems or something's going on. So how they're still in the top, I think they're still in the top 10, but <laughs> it's just even the top 20, I don't know. But Binance CEO Shang Penzel later tweeted that those who were concerned could send their funds to a hardware wallet. That was his tweet right here. There's an active security incident on Solana. Many uh, wallets are drained of Sol and USD. Don't root calls. Maybe permissions grant apps for remediation. Send the funds to a cold wallet or a centralized exchange like Binance. <laughs> no. But yes, on the cold wallet part. <laughs> <clears throat> Amid the wave of insolvencies, freezes, and hacks, hardware wallet sales have spiked. Philip Costigan, a senior account manager at Ledger, says people were always eventually going to think about security. At the Ledger Open conference in June, the company announced it had sold over 5 million units. Costigan says recent issues with lenders, bridge hacks, the Solana wallet exploits, etc. have only increased demand and sales. Ledger isn't alone. Either Treasure and SafePal have also posted a hefty rise in sales of late. Users are waking up. Decrypt email representative from Ledger, Treasure, and Shenzhen-based harbor wallets manufacturer SafePal to ask if they've seen an increase in sales during the latest crypto winter, and all three unanimously or unanimously affirmed it. SafePal replied that it had seen substantial growth in both products and asset management skills, attributing it to it to the collapse of centralized financial institutions and liquidity crisis affecting the crypto industry. SafePal didn't offer specific sales information, but the CEO, Veronica Wong, said that her firm believes the growth will continue. As crypto continues to gain traction among newcomers, a representative from Trezor also confirmed it has seen increased interest in self-custody solutions over the past few months. 
Although the effects of the ongoing bear market are also being felt, the company said that the crypto users are waking up to the fact that they could lose access to their assets at any time. Adding, we believe this is a good development that should ensure that user losses are not as widespread and large as they were in the recent cascade of bankruptcies. Kostigan iterated that this settlement, telling Decrypt that this almost had to happen for people to realize how important security is for storing people's assets. And exactly, I know like some people like out there going, oh, this just proves that uh, all cryptos are a scam. Like, uh oh, it's not safe. No, that's one way you can see, you might think of it. But in the reality, people are waking up to this realization that security is the most important thing in cryptocurrencies. So if you didn't have that in the first place, Shame on you for not getting or for not understanding what you're getting involved in. But security and storing your own cryptos being controlled is the most important thing about it, and they could save you a lot of money. So hopefully you didn't lose money in the situ in this situation that happened. But yeah. But on the day of the Solana wallet exploits, sales of ledger wallets, hardware wallets had more than tripled before Ledger announced the move sold ledger discount code which ran until August 7th, offering new buyers 10% off the Nano X and Nano S Plus models. Leisure reported a big increase after the announcement and said both models are seeing similar interests. Well, it's really disappointing and sad for a lot of people that they did lose out. Something like this was going to happen. I think people are now realizing why they need to have more of a focus on security, and I think we've seen that reflected in the cell, said Kostigan. Unfortunately and inevitable, sacrifices have been made, say experts, but clearly the spotlight is turning from your farming and meme coins. Now crypto security is taking center stage. Yes, so yes, get out of the meme coins. I know like everyone's always talking about da Shiba Inu or again to this yield farming project right now or this liquidity pool, you'll be earning extremely amount of months of money into it. But it's like, <laughs> no, people are finally realizing security is the most important thing to start off and then you start looking at the projects of what they're doing in the blockchain crypto space but yeah so great article right there i love seeing that that people are realizing self-custody is imperative and yeah so even if you have a software wallet make sure it's self-custodial with not your keys not your coins but if you want to keep a large sum of your money safe get a cold storage wallet most of my funds are on a treasure or a crypto only laptop where it's like it's not even connected to the internet it's offline i don't like open it when i need to check on whatever's in there but and everyday life use cases is to make sure my wallet i use divi wallet on my mobile device just has enough crypto in there for daily use cases so i need to load up my litecoin card or need some cash out there that's it it's just a small wallet. i treat this as a normal wallet i don't keep all my money that's in the bank on my purse on myself no i <laughs> keep it secure so yeah but yeah, this was a great article. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.